girl. Baby 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 girl. Hello, I am Imani Matthews. I am the manager of packaging all these lip glosses and sending them to you. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Jordan. I'm an employee at B Simone Beauty, so I do like everything that Imani does. My name is Jamika. I am the brand manager for B Simone Beauty and I started like September or something, like the last week of September. So we've been packaging thousands of orders. When I say thousands, I mean thousands of orders, sending them everywhere across the country and trying to make customers as happy as possible. B dropped her manifestation book, so we've been trying to prepare for that. Like when the books come in and we had a lot of lip gloss orders, so we've just been trying to like hurry up and get the lip gloss orders out so that when the books come, we'll be able to package the books easily and everybody be happy so they can get their stuff. The meeting that we had last week, it was basically about like everybody knowing their roles and knowing their positions and like not to get business and like friendships or relationships like confused. So as everybody know, like we used to be like with B like every day. Like it was a learning experience pretty much with the meeting because like we got to understand how not to blur the lines and it was very emotional because like we love B to death. So like to kind of separate the two, it was really hard. But I think like we're all, we all just took it in and like, just been focused and just trying to make sure that everything on the business side is correct. Typical work day here, we come in, we clock in. Mika, she goes to the computers now. I used to help with emails, but there's been so many, she's better at getting those out, getting responses and fixing the problems. So she goes there. I come in into this lovely room and package all these items for you guys and send them out and send them to the post office. And then I come back and repeat the whole process until the orders are all out. So it's pretty busy all day long. The only thing I can think of is the warehouse mentality sure. of, you know, just being more interactive with our customers, getting to meet them, getting to know their stories, getting to know why they want to purchase these products. How do you feel when you purchase these products? So just in the future, I would just like to interact with our supporters. I love you so much and I'm so thankful for what you've done for this brand. You're doing amazing things for, to change people's lives daily. You're changing my life. I love you and thank you so much for all the hard work you put into this. Hey B, I love you. I miss you. You are so hardworking and like you're a role model to me. Like I really look up to you. And I just want you to know I'm here to the very end. Baby J. I love you. Oh my God, try not to cry. <laughs> Why did you ask me that, Jay? Oh my God. <laughs> um, B already knows how I feel, you know. And I always have deep conversations with her, just always appreciating the person that she is. You know, I always have talks with my siblings and you know, they want to come here and I, and I just always express how our relationship is, whether she's my boss, my sister, a friend. And I just really, I'm really appreciative of the environment that I'm in right now because, you know, you go through so many jobs, no one appreciates you. They don't even say thank you for busting your tail every day and every chance that she gets, she, Jamika, thank you. Jamika, I love you. You know, you're a hard worker, you know. And even when I'm not doing so good or if she feels like I could fix something, you know, we had that conversation or if I feel like, okay, maybe she's not feeling it today. Let me ask her if there's anything that I'm doing, you know, she doesn't have a problem doing that. But I'm just so grateful for where I'm at right now. What I have accomplished just being in her circle, you know, I'm so appreciative. It's not even about a title or anything, but just how she appreciates us, how much she loves us, how, how much, 
you know she's grateful to have us here and and I just want to say that for as long as I'm here I'm going to make sure that this brand is going to you know keep pushing keep keep getting bigger because that's what I'm here for I'm here to make sure that everything is going to be straight and she wouldn't have to worry about anything while she's sleeping at night she ain't got to worry about if Jamika's answering emails on time or if this order is going to get shipped out like I'm just so grateful for her I'm so grateful for the person that she is you know how she treats us the love that we share and I'm just ready for the future because it's gonna be great but thank you thank you thank you thank you for this opportunity and thank you for the love that you share <laughs>so thankfully be simone beauty has been selling out i'm so sorry you guys i know y'all are trying to get the collection but this week y'all know we shoot every wednesday and this week we shot all the colors that are still in stock so you guys can head over to besimonebeauty.com and shop the colors that we still have in stock and we will be restocking in may so in about a week or so you guys will have more colors on the website stay patient i love you guys and enjoy the colors that we have in stock Honey, we squeezed the orange juice in here, the lemon juice, and some honey. And we whipped it on our face. Give us some tips, ideas for clogged pores on your face. Good masks to do. We've been doing masks all week. And, you know, dieting, exercising. Everybody said I look skinny on my last post on Instagram. I barely even edited it. <laughs> what do you do every day with your skincare? You have a routine? Mm -mm. Oh. I exfoliate my skin every other day. And I wash it twice a day. But I don't use soap twice a day. I only use once a day. And then I use... Lemon's supposed to be really good. Yeah, lemon's good. But lemon kind of burns me sometimes. So I don't use it all the time. But then I wash my face. After I wash my face, I use a toner. From what toners, I do witch hazel. Sometimes if I don't use witch hazel, I use rose water. I'll let it dry. I'll spray it again. I'll let it dry. I'll spray it again. I'll let it dry. And then... If I don't use those at all, there's that pixie glow thing I use. I like that too. And then after that, I moisturize my face with tea to the gods. Vitamin C serum, rosehip serum, the jojoba oil, coconut oil. Is vitamin E oil good? Yes. Vitamin E oil. I mix all those oils on my face. Like, I literally use like four oils a day. Y'all, start using natural stuff. Stop yeah. buying all that stuff with acid in it. It's so good for you. Help me clean up. Don't your hands feel smooth? Yeah. Girl. No they feel so good. Avocado go away? Yeah. The avocado literally gives you so much moisture. It's so bomb. Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. I have a homemade hair serum. Oh yeah. I did rosemary oil tea tree oil did drops of them i did almond oil we on our natural y'all we from african out. greece we're 30 now so well you've been 30 <laughs> just, <laughs> no, <I haven't. laughs> just because you did 30 30 doesn't mean i'm dirty 30 and i'm trying to look fine because these young girls is coming jesus i'm getting skinny y'all look do look kind of skinny? I'm going to just pour a little... Why you just can't dip your finger in there? Because it's easier to maneuver through the roots of my braids. 
see the Africans back in no, I'm just Jesus. <laughs> Trying to be all cultural. Bitch get two braids and think she <laughs> from Zimbabwe. We saw y'all. Don't make fun of me. After what? What's my favorite movie? What is my favorite movie? She just saw Malcolm X. That is my time. favorite movie. Literally two nights ago. I said, oh, she's gonna be up for eight hours. I'm going to sleep. I know this to keep her busy. I saw it when I was getting my hair done. And y'all, that is the best movie. That is my favorite movie. But then they have always been one of my favorite actors from Pirate to American Gangsta to Training Day. All them movies is my favorites. But Malcolm X, oh. The 1992 Denzel, that's when that movie came out. The 1992 Denzel, whew, he did get it. You have to go like this, bro. I know, but then it f your braids up, so don't rub, press. No, press. yes. First I of all, all, first first of all, let me tell you, you can do this. Yeah, you can, but what are you doing that for? Make the blood start flowing and get it into your roots. Okay, okay, so you could you do it that way, I'll do it this way. I don't like to rub, rub, rub. Because it's not rubbing, but I'm pressing and moving it in circles. Yeah, and it's up your braids. I don't care, it's quarantine time. Who's oh, looking at me? But if you just do this, uh, I know, but when you have somebody else do it, yeah, for sure. Do it. Look, okay, look. Do it, put your tips, do the tips. Oh, you're gonna do one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Them little fingers look good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, how much? How much? How much? Uh huh. Um, I'll do yours if you do mine every day. How long though? 10 minutes each day. Is that fair? That's not fair. Oh my god. I don't want to do it. I just want to pay you to do it. You're so f***ing <laughs> lazy. It's a lot of things work for free now. Okay, okay. It's tip for ten. I need my edges to grow big too, see? Your hands are so cute and little. <sighs> can you, okay, can you just do a little right here? Let me hear it. missing, huh? <laughs> no, it's your kitchen is in. <laughs> Don't get guacamole in my head. Yeah, guacamole. You want your edges to grow back? So do this with your friends during quarantine. This is a perfect time to get your mind right, your body right. Watch good movies that have you on the edge of your seat. What movies do you watch? We just watched 13 Cent. That was kind of interesting. 13 Cent, the, the Secrets there? in Their Eyes, yeah. Hush. We've been watching all the movies. I know that feel good right there. Jesus. I know that's a little tight. That's all. My legs been getting tighter. Them hamstrings. You see them popping up? Edit it, Jay. Make them look bigger. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We need. We really need to do um 300 abs. 50, 50. If we do it in increments of 50, it won't be bad. 75. 75. What? Three sets of 75. How much is that? Does it matter? <laughs> How much is that though? What's the total? I think 225. No. Why? Excuse me, sorry. Let's just start three, somewhere. Six, no, six sets of 50. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. See, you're stressing me out. <laughs> okay, I'll call Ooh. one out. I'll call one out first. You I ain't gonna lie, out. my stomach hurts. See, and you want, I was trying to do 225. No, I really want results. Okay, so. 50 I'll regular, right now. That's the first one. Okay, so you call one out, then I'll call the next one out. And we'll just go straight into them. Okay. So right now you want to do Because when you do 50-50, 100. 50-50, 200. 50-50, we're done. 300 abs every night. Do it All with right, us, y'all. Okay, we're going to do 300 abs every night. Do it with us, y'all. All right, 50 regular. Go. Regular crunches. Oh, crunches. Speak properly. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> She's doing a fucking... <laughs> What's it called? With a burpee. God oh, oh, crunches. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you're squeezing your stomach. Okay. It hurts so bad. Are you counting? Yes. What is it? Oh, you threw me off. <laughs> I don't fucking know. How many is 85. <laughs> 50. I don't think, I don't know if that was Get on your now. booty. Okay, next. Get on your butt. On your butt. Mm. Totally. And mine is doing this. In and out. Go. Fifty? Yes. Are you one. crazy? One, two. Count one. to yourself. Count to yourself. <laughs> Everybody on their own pace. That was twenty-five. You was 
behind me. I was going fast. I promise I was going fast. What you want? Look at her with 32. <laughs> Is that what you're going to 50? Do high fives. It'll make yourself think it's better. No, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is hurting my, my thighs this more than my stomach. It needs to hurt this part. Oh, no, I feel it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How many is that? You said count to yourself. <laughs> I'm just going to do 15 more. <laughs> Look. In the comments, I want to hear shit about, oh, your form, bitch, ain't it? <laughs> I'm learning, I'm growing, I will get better. Don't say to me about my form. They're Don't count. Better. Since when was that? December? <sighs> I know she has, I can tell. I'd be like, do 25 crunches. He'd be like, I can't. No, for sure. All right, all right, that's already 100. 200 okay. more. One, two, three. I don't like this. Hate them. Why? You don't do nothing. Bullshit. If you feel it burn, it's doing something. But I don't. Let me feel my stomach. That means you need to squeeze your stomach. <laughs> you <laughs> squeeze your stomach. Okay. You and don't do feel it. And go at all? all the way Not to really. the back. All the way to the side. You don't feel that working? I mean, sorry. God. <laughs> We're supposed to keep it going. Right. Okay, let's go. And it's one one. For sure. Oh. Wait. Yeah. If you do one, two, three, four, five. You gotta go hundred. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to look so young. Young, wild, and free. <laughs> Money's like, oh. <laughs> you're not going side enough. You're not, you're not, yeah. She's like, that. Thank you. <laughs> Bet you feel it in. All right, 50. You did not do 50. Yes, I did. All right, what's next? We at 150. We halfway there. Toe touches? I hate those. It hurts my neck. Because <laughs> no, you're using your neck and not your ass. For sure. All this no. You're not supposed to move your head at it's all. Heavy. <laughs> this hurts oh. my neck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you proved your point. Okay, scissors. What is a scissor? <laughs> Wait, what? These. What? Y'all are annoying. She'll thank us later. Squeeze your core. <laughs> What's that? How many is that? What you on, Amani? I don't know. I was just very slow. Posting the Savage Fenty lingerie. <laughs> I ain't even gonna have no post lip. I'm gonna just be posting just because I got abs. Fashion Ella. <laughs> Underwear. They didn't even resign. Just <laughs> <laughs> plain dips. We need 25 each size. I thought you were just showing us an example. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, like, when were you doing that one time you felt it was bleeding really bad? Like it was not even a year ago. 
<laughs> on stage on one of my stand-up shows. Was it? Yeah. And you got your knees and you said, was it you couldn't get up or what did you do? No, I fell on stage <gasps> telling a joke. And oh, I got it? up and my legs were bleeding. Did you do it on purpose? No. So the crowd thought it was like in the act. But no. I oh. said, well, <laughs> I <laughs> fell. <laughs> I'm bleeding. It wasn't Got even in a joke. That would be the funniest part. Of the show. She's turning red. I'm dead. <laughs> That's what. Oh. Why did you tell me that? <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. It's okay. The blood was going through my pants. What color were your pants? Lime green. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I know you're not soft on these. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> they do hurt. We have to do the mountain in the morning. So I can go before work? Uh-huh. Only if you're not late. Won't be here close. All right. I feel this in my hands. Sure! I'm exhausted! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was like, 21, 50! <laughs> I was second to last person up, but the first person down. This has everything to do in life. Do not compete with other people. Focus on yourself. What are you good at? I'm a good runner. So I struggle going up, but on the way down, I run because that is where I excel. I like long when I like running. I don't like weights and working out. Going up that mountain is like a weight. You get what I'm saying? You focus on you. I didn't look back at all for Imani, for Pharaoh, and how am I gonna motivate and help if I haven't made it yet? You can't be behind them trying to push them. You have to be in front of them trying to pull them towards the ending. A lot of people wanna motivate people or help people or pull them forward, but you haven't made it yet. You make it to the end and you wait on your people right here and you motivate them and tell them to come on. Don't focus on what everybody else is doing. Focus on what you're good at, focus on yourself and your time will come. Don't worry about everybody else. Don't worry about everybody else. What are you good at? Focus on that. You made it down. The mountain is 936, so that was a good time. It definitely pulled me down. I was like, she started running? <laughs> running down is so easy to me. I, was going I usually run the times. whole way down. The whole way. After I make it past that rail, I run. Really? You should tell me. I was like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but the going up part, but I'm, I can run all day. I can run I'll, miles I'll and I stop. Up and you pulled me down. Yeah. Ooh. See? She pulled me up because she's, that's her strong point. Her legs are so strong. She can run up, up, up. She pulled me up, I pulled her down. What are you good at? Focus on that and then that'll help the people around you. You don't have to be good at everything. Focus on what you're good at. And you'll be an asset in that category. I don't know, that's just what I was thinking when I was running now. It has nothing to do with working out, just in life in general.